Hello? Who's there? What do you want? I want you, Mudbird. Show me your face. You. Hey, this is Rosrox for TubeTape.com and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create the Death Eater effect from the Harry Potter movies. Okay, we'll take a look at the footage that we'll be using for this effect. Both of these elements are from Action Essentials 2 from VideoCopilot.net. Okay, I'll make two brand new comps for the Wisp and the Atmosphere. You can just drag them into the Make a New Comp button right there. Okay, now we've got both of separate comps. We'll we'll name this um, down smoke, and this one flow smoke. Okay, so we have our atmosphere and our wisp, and we have alleyway footage. What we will what we'll do is we'll grab the atmosphere and just drop it over the top. Now you can see the smoke coming down and it doesn't look too bad already. But what we'll want to do to make it a lot faster is speed it up by about 70% so stretch factor will be 30. As you can see it's a lot faster might stretch it just a little more. I'll stretch it to 15 just to be on the safe side. Okay it's nice and fast now. But as you can see it's not in the center so what we can do is we'll go back to the atmosphere and we'll turn on the tidal safe and we'll just try and line it up by clicking P and keyframing the position of the smoke. Yeah, so as you can see it moves it moves from uh, right to left just uh, a smoke wood but uh, I like sim I like symmetrical uh, smoke so I'm just going to keyframe it to move uh, move to the center so we'll just move move to the center um, oh well. Okay, that looks fine. Go back to the alleyway layer, and you can see the smoke just coming down normally. Okay, so what we want to do now is line the smoke up with the carrot I just fading in. You can just do that with a, a symbol mask. So we'll just grab the mask tool and just draw a basic shape just around the smoke. For now, the carrot has disappeared, but that's fine, that's what we want. Now we'll go into the mask and edit the path uh, from just to go in line with the smoke so the character just appears when the smoke hits the floor. So we'll just highlight that, bring it down. As you can see, the character appears, but we're going to stretch the mask up so we can see uh, the rest of the character. Wait until the smoke hits the floor and we can stretch the mask down to the ground so the shadow uh, appears as well. Okay, we'll just a little browse through that. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. It's a sharp edge, so what we can do is we'll, we can just feather it 
about 20 with 22. Still a bit, a bit thick. Well, there. If you don't want the smoke um, in line with the mask, you can just highlight both these clips and uh, drag them back, and it just looks a bit better. Um, just better with timing. We just scroll through it. The card is already there. I'm gonna slow it down. Okay, you can still see it, but it's okay because we'll correct it after. Okay, that's the atmosphere one done.